one of the things that really fueled my my excitement for this was that you were specifically seeking out the development, the investment in uh, these these art pieces to be made. Um, there are easier routes, and you know this certainly has taken a lot of time. And yet, this is something else that you chose to invest time in. And so that anytime somebody is interested in uh, sincerely um, pursuing the development of art pieces, it, especially in a situation where it's it's not an absolute necessity, that's not why people have joined your golf society, um, but it's a value added. I have a hard time stepping away from anything like that because that's a, that's so rare. And uh, that's something I want to pour some gasoline on and say, yeah, let's do this because I think it's going to make other people in the same realm that you work with and say, whoa, what's going on with this? This is special. This is different. You know, there are people out there that have created such unique, beautiful things. Why, why can't that be the case for golf trophies and golf awards and um, kind of these for us, it's going to be a relic of hopefully hundred years, and uh, and so when I think about that, I felt weird putting in a you know simple order form to the trophy shop. I didn't, it didn't feel very new club. It didn't feel like this yeah. timeless thing. It didn't, it didn't feel like the inspiration um, that you know I see when I was in Scotland and Ireland, and you know the things that they present to their champions. Many may know uh, before the Claret Jug, the first you know event in golf was the open championship uh and the winner got a belt and so belts in the uk and for golf societies that inspired new club they have belts for their championships they're their highest uh you know competitive honor we'll call it so the first one is young tom morris so i really loved him as our first uh figurehead for our first ever championship uh <laughs> award and and I was nervous that you know when we sent over his swing silhouette, uh, which we had to dig for, that it would just be hard to pull off. But the detail that she got on this thing is so so cool. Yeah, it's completely readable, um, including text. Uh, Maria Camera Smith, uh, a recent uh, master's graduate, the, the figures that are on these two belt buckles and uh, and and the design that's in the background. It's representative. I'm trying not to say too much here. Yeah. So. <laughs> but yeah, even to the point of getting texture to represent different aspects of the background pattern um, so that it would be it would make sense to um, a golfer uh, was was pretty amazing. So she was uh, I, I couldn't give higher compliment to her um, balance of integrity as an artist of knowing the process and what the materials can do and also what her style and approach would be important to mention on the the belt that this is the perennial which means you <laughs> hand it back in <laughs>